start your engines and go. When you want a meal in a hurry, it's simple. Drive through or drive in and then drive on. Fasten your seatbelts for a whirlwind tour of some of our favorite places to grab and go. Do you know what chance event gave this popular hot dog drive through its name? And can you guess what's cooking in here that drove one man to the altar? Plus, breakfast in the fast lane. It's more than just bagels and donuts. So jump in as we count down the top five drive-up joints. Hi, I'm Bobby Rivers, and welcome to Top 5, the show where we count down foods that are fun, foods that are famous, and foods that are just plain fabulous. Collectively, Americans drive more than 2 trillion miles each year, and along the way, we pick up a few billion orders of burgers and fries. But that's just the beginning. Today, just about any food you can imagine is waiting on the roadside. It's as easy as hitting the old turn signal, pulling in, and ordering up. And we've got some of the best spots around as we count down the top five drive-up joints. Up next, heroes of the fast food age. Our number one pick is really super. Any guesses? What percent of McDonald's U.S. locations have a drive through window? 50%, 75%, or 90%? The answer, when we come back. Welcome back to Top 5. Before the break, we asked, what percentage of McDonald's restaurants in the U.S. offers drive through service? The answer, 90%. We're 100% sure you're going to love our number one drive-up joint, but first, let's recap what we've seen so far. Slow-cooked barbecue fast. Mrs. Smokey's is our number five pick. In at number four, the big screen and a big tub of popcorn, it's the Capri Drive-In. Number three, it's a Houston favorite with a New York name, James Coney Island. At number two, the Kalachi Factory has your ideal meal wrapped to go. And the number one drive-up joint, Chicago Superdog Drive-In. So how do you like your superheroes? Strong, brave, daring, ready to face each new challenge with speed and precision. Well, these superheroes aren't going anywhere, but they might still become your personal favorites. Bori and Flory are the best. They're really, they're really heroes of hot dogs. <laughs> Superdogs, Maury and Flory, have graced the roof of Chicago's Superdog Drive-In for more than 50 years. Who could the owners be? And who could have lasted as long as we have since 1948? They're Maury and Flory Berman. They opened the Superdog when they were both just 21 years old. I was the architect and the designer. He designed a super figure because the dog was going to be something super, not an ordinary hot dog, that every man must have his mate. So he designed a lady friend for Mr. Superdog. So what exactly is a super dog? Hi, how you doing today? Better ask the car hop, who also happens to be Maury and Flory's granddaughter. It's a Chicago-style hot dog, and we put mustard relish, onion pickle, hot peppers if you want them, and our special pickled green tomato. Okay, we have three super dogs here, and this is the one with the hot peppers on it. The super dog box says, your super dog lounges inside. Comfortably cushioned and super fries. You'll notice these dogs are missing, could it be, ketchup. Why? Well, it's strictly forbidden to put ketchup on a genuine Chicago dog. If you're from out of town and just must have ketchup, they'll give you little packets so you can put it on yourself. However you order it, the super dog can be at your car super fast thanks to those car hops. Car hops have been around since the 1920s. The first place to offer curbside service was the pig stand in Texas. Early servers were all young men called 
car hops because they would run and hop on the car's running board to wait on customers. The Superdog is the only drive-in left in Chicago, but it's certainly not the only hot dog stand. They say there are about 2,000 hot dog stands in the Windy City, but the Superdog is top dog for a lot of Chicago folks. We made a priority list of things we wanted to do in Chicago, and Superdog was the top on the list. You can call it terrific, you can call it delicious, but please do not call it a hot dog. We never call it a hot dog. We always call it a super dog. And we correct the customer when the customer asks, give me a hot dog, we say, one super dog? Would you like everything on? Yeah, I'd like a hot dog with french fries. Hey, super dog, um, did you want everything on that super dog, including hot peppers? Super dogs have a pretty diverse following, too. You just never know who's going to drive up. I've been in here when there's limos with uh, people coming from weddings. I've been in here when there's motorcycles. There's nowhere better for a hot dog. Super dog? And the fries are world class. Now at Burger King, you can get a Whopper with cheese. But at the Super Dog, they make a Whopper cheesy. It's the second most popular item on the menu. The shakes are pretty good, too. But a little on the thick side, so they may take you a while. We put straws in them just to prove you can't draw them through. Super thick shakes, super friendly service, and super, super dogs. Bring your wheels and your appetite to the super dog, and you're sure to drive away feeling, oh. well, super. It's our number one pick, the Super Dog Drive-In. Hey, need a souvenir from the Super Dog? How about these little Maury and Flory action figures? I think they're pretty cool. Well, that's the last stop for us, and thank you for watching. Remember, if you want more info on the show, just visit our super website at foodnetwork.com. I'm Bobby Rivers, and I'll see you next time right here on Top 5.